Hi, we're Joel and Leah. And today's video is all about misconceptions about the UK. So the idea for this came from Google. Goo <laughs> Google. Google. <laughs> Actually, it was my own idea. I did have to oh, go on Google to like Google it because yeah. I only came up with one. I was yeah. in America and uh or oh, maybe it wasn't in America. I think you must have been driving in America. I heard, I've heard this story, no? I was driving. Yeah. Let's say I was driving. Okay. And I get a message from someone being like, oh, I thought you used kilometers per hour. I think I highlighted the dashboard okay. with, with the speedometer. On and Instagram they were like, stories? Yeah. Hashtag and they were like, us here. that's weird. Follow us at these, <laughs> these Addresses. <places. laughs> Addresses. And they were like, that's weird. Like, why are you using miles per hour? Is that an American car? And I was like... Are you joking? Brits use miles per hour. Like, what are you on about? Yeah. And I realise it's because Europe tends to be kilometres per hour. And so they obviously think, oh, you're part of Europe. You use that. But we don't. We yeah. use miles per hour. It's like when an American asks you, like, how many kilometres away is that? And I think they think they're trying to be helpful to you. Yeah. And you're like, like I really don't know kilometres. We don't do kilometres. All our signs per hour. are miles. Yeah. Like, it will say London, 60 miles away. Yeah. Or it's like going 60 miles per hour. Yeah. It's all miles, 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 miles. I know what like driving at 10 miles per hour feels like. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas I'm, kilometers. Because I'm a grandma. No idea. Kilometers per hour, I couldn't tell you. And also recently I've been putting kilograms on my Instagram because my oh, yeah. trainer is saying do it in kilograms. Yeah. But that's not normal. Loads of people are like, oh, we Americans don't do kilograms. It must be a Europe thing. And I'm like, no, it's not even in the UK. We tend to do stone or pounds. Oh, I, I quite like kgs. Do you? Yeah. But what did you grow up learning? Pounds. Stones. Yeah, stones and pounds. So there's 14 pounds in, the, in a stone. Yeah. And that's what we use. Whereas Americans, I think, purely use pounds. They don't use stone. Oh, I have no idea how many pounds I am. I think, because when we were in that gym in America, yeah. it had one of those proper... Oh, proper but, scale. Yeah, we went on YouTube and we were like, how to use <laughs> a proper scale. Our older and viewers must like, just be like, you're so thick. Obviously, you have to like move it until the thing balances. But I yeah. just, I was like, but surely like if your eyes are a bit off, then that bit's never going to really look completely balanced. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and that's why, and you can lie to yourself as well. You can be like, mm, I think that's my weight. because, yeah. And then that just, I, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. It's a confusing scale. Like we don't know how to use that as... Hashtag millennials. Millennials. <laughs> Which is like digital things. Yeah, I'd like to just stand on the scales and be shown the number. Yeah. And I'm like, that's what it is. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, yeah. that was the first one. We use miles per hour just like in America and we use uh, miles just like in America. Miles, yeah. So we're very similar. Very similar. So the next misconception is about our, our monarchy, the queen uh, and the royal family. <laughs> so the misconception is that the queen rules Britain, but she doesn't. Mm, no. uh, we have a prime minister who mm. rules the country, and the queen is sort of here to look good. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's here for kind of like ceremony. I love that you just like, aren't even obvious, like know, subtly, like looking at her. <laughs> she's just here for ceremonial reasons, like just to like all the pomp and the like. Britishness. She's here yeah. for tourists. Like, that's literally what the royal family are here for. And they do a cracking job. They do a great job. And obviously they do their sort of royal duties. Yeah. No one really knows what they go and do, but yeah. they, do, they do really good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> they do. They bring so much money into the country. More money than they cost the taxpayer. So yeah. anyone that complains about them being like, oh, we're supporting people. It's like, no. They're like, helping us. They're helping our country. Yeah. Like most of... I'm maybe such not a most. big fan. I Same. love them so much. But so many tourists. If you're not British and you want to come to the UK, the chances are you want to come because you want to see Buckingham Palace. Um, you want to just like see all the yeah. like royally things. Just, the, all of the palaces all, all in the UK. Of, yeah, like, all of it. Windsor Castle. Yeah. Go and see like St Paul's tea. Cathedral and all yeah. of that. Yeah. Um, but they, they do actually... So the Queen can overrule something if she wants to. Yeah. But they, they never do. Yeah. I think they ha a monarch hasn't done that for like hundreds of years or something. Yeah. Like, but technically I, they can be like, no, you can't pass that law. Yeah. But they can't actually like pass a law themselves either. Like no. the Queen can go, actually, you know what? I'm going to make it illegal for you to have fun. Like... No, she can't, she can't do, do that. that at all. She can't do that. The Prime Minister can though. Yeah, the Prime Minister can. And Theresa and May probably would. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> she probably would stop us having fun. Yeah, she, although she does run actually, through fields of wheat, yeah, so she is fun. And she loves ABBA. Oh, yeah. She loves it. Oh, she's, she's, she's so actually, sweet. She would have fun with us. Yeah, she would. She's just a clown. <laughs> she is. Oh. Good old Theresa. Good old Theresa. Yeah. Will we get away with that in our contract, calling Theresa May a clown? 
Yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah, it's fine. A good behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next misconception is that Britain is a country, which I guess most people think that it is, and even I as a Brit would probably be like, oh yeah, Britain, like a country. But technically it's not, it's a collection of countries, because uh-huh. Britain is made up of Scotland, Northern Ireland, England, and Wales. Wales. Which Wales always gets forgotten, doesn't it? It does. Americans does. don't tend to know what Wales is. Yeah. Do you guys go to want to go to Wales? Honestly. Like, do you go, oh, let's go to Cardiff. Yeah. Like, let's go and have some fun in Wales. You should. They've got a great castle there. Cardiff Castle. Oh, I'd Gorgeous. love to go. Yeah. I've not been. Mm, we ought huge. to do that. Yeah, we should. Joel and Lear trip to yeah. Cardiff. We love Wales. I get sad when people overlook Wales because I'm like, it's actually a really beautiful and really cool don't country don't leave Wales out please yeah I don't know why it just made me think of Britney like start picking on Britney oh leave Britney, Britney alone, alone. <laughs> leave Britney alone leave Wales alone, alone. No, include Wales include Wales, Wales please uh, okay didn't Donald Trump say something where like he thought um, the UK I don't know this is probably bad territory because Trump made a mistake and he called um, in, he thought England was the United Kingdom oh yeah I remember that and he, he said something like in an interview and then was it Piers Morgan like corrected yeah. him or something and then he was like oh yeah I knew that I knew that yeah, and, and it was like, really oh funny because everyone in the UK was tweeting about it yeah. like of course Donald the president Trump of the United States, States made like, that mistake yeah but then to be fair like it is confusing you can call us the United Kingdom you can call us the British Isles or Great Britain or just Britain or England Ireland Scotland Wales or like Northern Ireland like there's so many different names that make up different sort of territories of yeah. the UK that it's just really confusing the British Isles the British Isles includes like the Republic of Ireland whereas yeah. Britain doesn't include the Republic of Ireland no, it, it includes doesn't. Northern Ireland. So yeah. it's just confusing, like these different words. Like, no wonder people get confused. But still, the president probably should have got that correct, especially as he is descended from Scotland. Oh, like, yeah. I think his mum is Scottish. Scottish mum. Scottish. Scottish Trumpy mum. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next one is that guns are illegal in the UK. Mm. Well, it's only during this video yeah. um, that I've actually now found out that they're not completely illegal in yeah. the UK. You can actually get a gun, you, you can't actually get heavy duty automated weapons. Yeah. So you can get uh, air rifles, like without a license, and we have one at my house. Do you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You kept that on the quiet, didn't you? I think I've spoken about it before. We use it to shoot rats. Um, no yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. No. So and it's quite a powerful what, the gun. The house in London. No oh, house at home. at home in Hampshire. Oh, I was not in say, London. <laughs> you've got a gun in London. Yeah. No, it's like a massive like air rifle thing. So oh you my can, gosh. You can get them from shops without a license. British YouTuber admits to having gun, <laughs> gun. at home to shoot rats. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get destroyed. Such a rebel. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. But you Didn't can. So I'm gonna have to read this because I can't but you can get semi-auto or bolt action guns with a license so I don't know what that means but that's like hunters, farmers, anyone who needs those guns can actually get them but you have to have a license and they have to be like locked away when they're not being used so you can get guns in the UK it's not not like they're completely illegal illegal. Um, it's just that there are strong laws surrounding it that makes it really safe yeah which is I think good practice for hopefully good example as well yeah, hope for so. other countries if, yeah. if they want to yeah not going to trigger anyone no but i can't believe that that's so funny <laughs> you're like what? we've got a gun at yeah, home we've got an air rifle Before? i don't air know rifle. where it is it must be in the garage it used to be under our sofa in the conservatory no yeah because that's where me and my dad would like open the windows to the conservatory and like just like camp there and like shoot the rats that's as they go by. so fun so much fun Oh my god. We only shot them, by the way. I'll get people triggered being like, oh my god, you shot the rat. Because I had chickens. And when you get chickens, you get rats because the rats like eating the chicken food. So oh. we were like infested with rats in our garden. Oh no. Um, so we just had to put out rat poison. We set out traps um, and then drowned the rats in there. And we had to shoot them. Right. But I just had to get rid of them because they aren't getting to my chickens. Because they can kill your chickens as well they can give them diseases or oh, like no. bite them and so I was like I'm doing this for you Maisie yeah oh my god put a cap in your ass <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, and Oscar would join in and no. he'd chase so obviously not when the gun was around because we no. didn't want to shoot Oscar but if Oscar saw a rat he'd like run after it and once this rat climbed up the tree and like ran across a branch and then the branch was obviously really weak so it like dangled and the rat was like no and Oscar was beneath it and it dropped and Oscar like ran to get it but the rat was super fast and like ran under the shed oh my god but Oscar's great at catching rats for context, it's Joel's dog. Oh yeah, sorry. Anyone... Not my little brother. <laughs> I imagine. My little brother, uh, yeah, Oscar, like, was like, like ah. with underneath the tree. <laughs> but yeah. Wow. Mm. That's, rats, can they go that fast? Oh yeah, rats are super fast. Even though they're fat and disgusting. Yeah. And we have baby rats as well. Like, So you've yeah. seen it all then? I've seen it but all. But did you get a little flashlight? Flashlight. Oh, we torch. do it during the day. Oh, great. They're brave little blighters. Oh, are yeah, they? Yeah, they're out during the day. That brave little blighter. Yeah. Oh, you... <laughs> that was you and your dad, like, trying like, to get them. <laughs> so good. And then we just have fun and, like, put some tin cans out and just have a shoot. Oh, pen. really? I haven't done that for ages, though. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. you ought to sort of do that again. Yeah. And film it. <laughs> but I think that would be quite surprising to lots of Americans, because I think the stereotype is that in the UK everything's like all guns are illegal yeah, it's and surprising like, to me yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, it's, surprising to, it's probably surprising to them as yeah. well I guess it's not for me because I've worked on a farm so I've always been around guns and I know that you can have them but it's just yeah. very strict laws around it yeah but yeah remember when we were in that supermarket in Walmart and I thought that the the food was was ice cream Oh yeah, there was bait. Bait. Live bait. There was like worms or locusts or something. And Liam was like, oh, ice cream by the hunting. That's unusual. Oh, what was it? Ice cream and guns. I had no idea. Mm. <laughs> so good. I had no idea that we were reading the comments. Yeah. And everyone was like, when she thought that that was ice cream. Ridiculous. Of course they just saw it and thought, oh, ice cream. I mean, I didn't think it. I was just like, mm, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, you're crazy. It was fun. That good. It helped with the comment section. Yes, so it went it really did. well. That was went really well. Went really well. <laughs> <laughs> but let us know down in the comments if there are any other things you think about the UK. Like, what do you think about us? Yeah. We'll let you know if it's a misconception or whether it's true. I'm trying to think of if I if I know any that are like Oh, that we all live that we all know the Queen. Obviously that's oh, so yeah. not true. It's not true. We'd I, love to meet the Queen. That would be great. But that's Lizzie. Like a We'd love to meet Lizzie. Yeah. Oh yeah, Lizzie. Lizzie. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe. We post videos thrice, thrice weekly. weekly. And we will see you again next time. If you're interested in what merch we're wearing, yeah. it's uh, our own design. It's not my vibe. You embroidered. Can, uh, yes, embroidered in New York. Um ideas born in the UK yes so get yourself some of that um, the links are all in the description mm -hmm. and we'll see you next time yeah. see you soon bye. bye we all wake up and drink like five cups of tea I mean you probably do yeah I've been drinking a lot of tea lately. that's not mis that's a conception that is a conception <laughs> it's not a misconception conception. it's a conception that we've all got bad teeth yeah that's a really bad misconception because yeah. clearly look at us our teeth are oh, sparkling I could do the clean deep clean yeah